Tracy Oh my gosh. That's so weird. It's like I'm having a test right now. Say I just like a thousand times. 830 Park Central North Apartment C. Um I paid you guys three months rent. Okay. Um and I came in here and I gave you guys well the first check I had I drag actually dropped it into a box that actually says <coughs> don't put mail here. And the reason why I did that is because you guys were closed and this was be this you guys are new owners, you know, they the last apartments actually paid rent or online, so I I didn't, you know, think that pertained to you guys since you guys are new and you know, I pay you guys. So I put it in another lady who was actually right there with me. It was crazy. She's like, I don't know where to put them. I was like, just put it in there. So I dropped it in there, and uh, apparently you guys received it because I was in front of two different people. And then uh, anyway, uh, gave me uh, some money, wrote it to check in my name. So I went to my grandmother and had her cash it, and then she wrote her own personal check, you know, out to you guys. Okay. Um. Next. Uh, so when I brought you guys the check, I got the receipt, and a nice young lady, um, she has short hair, she's kind of tomboyish, mm -hmm. I don't know her name, she's very kind. Okay, she um, she told me that um, everything's fine, I was like, yes, I was supposed to go to court today, but I, I guess I don't have to, so I pay my rent, you know, and everything, because that's pretty much what the judge said. Um, she said, yeah, everything's fine, I was like, you, you got my other check? She said, yeah, yeah, everything's good, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, I'm part of, I'm, you know, I'm with Indy Rent, so I have to um, go to court. I mentioned it again. And she's like, no, no worries. I understand. So I um, go on with my life. And uh, next thing you know, I get an eviction notice on my door. When was this? This was, the eviction notice was about 20-something days ago. Okay. Um, so it was actually in, for me to vacate the premises for in five days. I'm a college student, you know, um, I own business and trying to, you know, how you have to invest in your business and your, you know, your, it takes a while to get your money back and all this and that. So I've been, you know, kind of struggling because of COVID. I was making, I went from six figures to virtually pretty much nothing, you know, depending on my student aid and the indie rent or whatever. And so I got a knock on my door. Um, well, sorry, I got the notice and then I called the, uh, I went down to the Washington Township Court. Mm -hmm. I wrote him a letter um, stating that I got confused about, you know, me having to pay rent and I didn't know I had to be there if I paid and you know, this and that. And he ordered you guys to accept my rent. Um, the attorney. You're in 830 apartment C. Yeah, I'm in North. It's two, it's two of them. It's two different ones, so they get mixed up all the time. But the thing is, yes, sir, um, you? here's how I you. So the judge ordered, you know, the, the apartments to, to, oh, to take over. Yes. And, um, all right. Do you need to receive your email? I, uh, yes. like I said, I got the eviction notice. Yes, and the next thing you know, yeah, after I broke the judge, bit, he actually reason. extended um, my eviction, you know, for another 30 days after I showed him the receipts that was signed by Caitlin and everything. Because from my understanding, they informed him that I wasn't paying rent at all. So, because we can't take partial payments. Oh, it was a full payment. They were close to uh, month rent, worth of check. It was free. It was one for twelve sixty-five. All at once or at different times? It was at different times. It was one for twelve sixty-five before the injury rent, and then after the injury rent, it was for two more months. So I'm going to want to refer you to the assistant manager. Um, his name is Cody, and he's the one that handles these accounts. Is he the one that knocked on my door, probably? Um, I can't answer. I mean, I can't. That was, he was, he, like, a, was a, a, a skinny kind of a young guy. Um, Tall. Yeah, I mean, yeah. younger. Yeah. Or um, probably my age, maybe a little bit younger. I'm 30. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was him, and it was a middle-aged guy with him. Um, okay. So, I just want to tell you really fast. I then, like I said, I got a knock on my door after the extension. It wasn't like, you guys didn't get it in time because it was like kind of like right away. And so, when I got the knock on my door, he's at the door and he's telling me that I, um, you know, am I going to be out by five? Said I had a judge order to extension. You know, and I said, well, I'm confused because I've been paying you guys. So, what's going on? And he said, oh, yeah, about that. 
uh, he was just making up weird, strange excuses. But it came to the point where he was like, well, it's because the check's written, written with, um, another person's name. Like, it's for me, but since my grandmother wrote the check and it's not me, they're not cashing it. I think I remember this, to be quite honest with you, when I was here a few months ago. Um, yeah, because that check, I do remember that check. It, it was a random check, and the check was actually dated from, like, August. And it was a check that you gave us in, like, October. But the date <coughs> on the personal check was from August, and we didn't feel comfortable with, with cashing the check that was a few months old. He did mention the August. I mean, he did mention that, and then the second reason he said, that's what I was saying, like, it was very good. Second reason was because it was written from, by someone else. Right. So, and we also cannot take personal checks when we are not behind on rent. We have to have certified funds. And we... We reached out to you, and nobody reached out back to us, and how did sent you guys, letters, and we've done... How did you guys reach out to me? I mean, we've sent letters, we've knocked on your door, I and... Didn't, he told me that... Um, we don't have a current phone number he, for you, but yeah. The apartment should, because, you know, I, they, they, I've been... Like, you guys should have my email, too. I mean, you know, you guys are on your and everything, but... So the letters that that's we sent you, with, you let me you know your balances. I mean, um, you know... Through we, what? Mail? We left it on your door. On my door? No, I, I never. I have a ring doorbell, mm -hmm. uh, fortunately. Mm -hmm. So that will prove that I did not receive anything at all. Okay, well, I mean, that being said, what, I mean, I, I want to refer you to our assistant. And my neighbor, I'm sorry, my neighbor across the hall also has a ring doorbell. So, okay. like, that would, like, I mean, definitely it is your prove. responsibility as to get, like, an $8,700 balance at this point? So. Um, actually... I wouldn't have had an $87, $100 balance if I were to uh, be informed properly that I did not get my check cash for you guys. Um, our, our lawyers were also have been representing us. Um, so When your lawyers were at court, they had no clue what was going on. They said they didn't know what was going on. They're a new business. Uh, they don't even know. They can't even. They don't even know. The judge heard it. It was. It was known that they had no clue what to do. And the judge ordered you guys just to accept it. Um, I'm with Andy Rent. I know you guys don't accept it, but on my end, they accept, like, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for round two, and uh, that was supposed to be, like, the agreement between, you know, the judge. You guys are going to get paid. Uh, you guys are going to actually get back paid for, for the rent, and you guys are also going to get, they're giving me 12 months worth of, worth of rent. So anything that I owe on top of the rest of the 12 months. So you guys were gonna be like, like in a month actually, you guys are gonna get like a really nice sum of money, probably close to like maybe $9,000. So, so I, I mean, or I, even more. I, I keep referring you back to Cody because he's the one that handles the accounts. Okay. And I personally, um, well, I, I need those have, checks. Like, that information and I don't I know, know what's but going on. The reason why I'm telling you all of this is because I need those checks then. Okay. So that I can return them to my grandmother because she doesn't feel comfortable with uh, giving me the money if the checks aren't in her hands. Um, I don't know. She's just being kind of stubborn. She doesn't really want to cancel it, I guess, or something. I don't know. She just wants to be able to rip the check up, throw it away, give me the cash, and then I can pay you guys through like a money order or whatever what do you accept um at this point we have to accept certified funds from a bank it has to be certified funds a cashier's check yeah. so like a money order is the same right no, no a money order is not the same it has to come from a bank oh it has to be a certified check from your bank. okay my neighbor across the hall said you guys also do something online usually yes but when Car you're back rent. behind rent you have to bring certified funds it has to be the certified check from a bank if you are late on rent for oh, any reason. I wonder why. When, like, because, you know, Devin and Craig, I know you guys aren't in control of that. I'm not going to. I am. I'm an Oh, director. so, okay, so can you explain to me why they don't accept, like, debit when that's like a direct, like, cash? Just per policy because at any time that that can bounce, it takes about three to seven business days for that to come out of an account mm -hmm. and it can bounce at any time. So we need the funds that are actually there, that's why we require it from a bank oh. to make sure that we're not canceling an eviction that doesn't need to be canceled. Okay, okay, that's cool. And then, yeah, so also, since you're the area manager, you're above Cody, right? Correct. So, yeah, um, the thing is, I just felt 
insult it a little bit. Not like all the way because I know I owe rent. You know, this is a mm-hmm. hard time or whatever. But um, he was able to make sure um, he was able to contact me to see if I was going to be out that day. But there was he couldn't contact me to tell me whether or not my checks were feasible. And didn't even mention it until I mentioned it. It was well, like really I know, shady. You would have to double check with him. I know that during my presence, he had emailed you um, at one <laughs> point regarding that information. I actually saw the email. Can I see himself. the email? Well, okay. It would be it would be on his computer. Okay. Across the street. Yeah, no, I would no, love no, no. to. Um, sure. I would love to get that evidence because Absolutely. I know definitely. She just said you guys didn't have a way to contact me. Uh, the email. No, they don't said, have a phone. Is what phone. she said, actually. So how'd you guys have my email address and not my phone? Well, that's a great question. I'm not sure. Do you have a valid phone number that we can add into the system? It today? was the same. Va- yeah, you can have my valid phone number. Oh, sure. Perfect. What's that going to be? It's going to be 317 365 7070. They may not have had your phone number in their system when we switched over to our new one when we yeah. took ownership. I'm not okay. sure. Um, I can't speak for the previous company. Uh, but yeah, so if you want to get that taken care of, obviously, like I said, we can select or we can accept the certified payment okay. um, from the bank and we can get your, you know, balance all situated and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, keep us uh, up to date on when you're going to be receiving that payment from Indeed Rent. Okay. Um, since the check has to be put in your name and not directly sent to us. Okay. Um, and then you'll bring that in certified funds as well, mm. just like this payment. Okay. And then we can get you those checks that you left from your grandmother. Okay, so money orders aren't a certified fund? Correct. They're not certified. They can be bounced as well. Is that what you're saying? I all I can say is this is what we require. So if we want to take care of the balance, it has to be I was just asking out of curiosity. Yeah, no, we just I, don't take money orders in any offices. Oh I just this is a curious thing as to why because No, you're fine, ask away. No no no. It's just yeah, I understand the whole, you know, protecting yourself, but the money order thing should be kind of like, you know. Certain. People can still money order. Yeah. I've got your checks here, and if I don't, then that means Cody does, but let me go through the check. Okay. Who was the check written by? It was written by Carolyn Johnson, and it should be a chase bank check. It was actually two individual checks. Okay, perfect. One Carolyn for Johnson, yep, I got them right here. Awesome. One for 1265 and one for 2530, correct? Yes. Make a copy of those and write on there that you're returning them. Will do. And it's today's date and your interest rates. Uh, crunch a little bit Literally, but a good one or french toast yes yeah, so Literally. it's so delicious you know stuff is like overpowering sometimes and like kind of icky but that that's it's so natural and that oat milk tastes so creamy it's like wow I can't believe it's oat milk so I pushed power um is it the big one I mean or the middle one There it goes. Do this small, Mom. It is small, okay? okay? Because anything larger overfills your cup. Oh, it's okay. sassy. And it probably would water it down. It's like sassy. <laughs> Learn the hard way. Right. We want good sass, not, not bad. Okay. And if you'll do me a favor, if you'll just sign here showing that I returned it to you. It's got All my signature right. date, okay. your name, your awesome. phone number. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. You are so welcome. Okay. 